Hi friends, welcome to Firangi Files. In today's video, I am going to share some tips about cyber security careers. That is, this video is exclusively dedicated to cyber security professionals. In past two three weeks, I have received multiple uh, comments as well as emails uh, regarding uh, how to step into cyber security careers. Uh, with a target of making career in Germany. The most popular doubt asked by students is if I were to switch to cyber security, do I really need to go for a master's or bachelor's exclusive in cyber security or any general IT or computer science master's or bachelor's will be sufficient. So friends, my comment to this question is you really don't need an exclusive cyber security related master's or bachelor's at all. In fact, any person in this world can step into cybersecurity irrespective of his or her previous uh, studies or previous background. Nowadays, IT security is not exclusively limited to IT at all. In fact, I have seen multiple finance uh, experts who have stepped into IT field and they are doing great in cybersecurity profiles. So you really don't need a master's exclusively on cybersecurity. What you really need is hands-on experience and technical experience. Now switching over to the topic a career in Germany in cyber security profiles. If you are following my videos, I have all, always and always mentioned that if you want to make career in Germany, you have to be number one, really technically oriented. Number two, if number one is not uh, applicable, that is you are, don't think that you are technically oriented, then you have to be very fluent in German language. Now I'll explain these post points. Let's say friends, when I came to Germany on job seekers visa some five years back, I already had some 14 years of work experience uh, gathered in my previous job. I was already a team leader that time, I was leading a team of 25 to 28 people. Now, if I had decided to continue my this profile in Germany, I would have faced a complete catastrophe. Because if you were to work like a manager, administrator, team leader, or such profiles wherein you have to interact with a lot of people without German, nothing will work. So in case if you are holding a good experience in India or your home country, you need to either speak very fluent German to continue your profile here in Germany or please switch over to any technical field. So friends, even for the students uh, who are, uh, are going to opt for masters or bachelors in Germany, I strongly recommend please don't go for any administrative roles. Please upskill yourself in a very core technical field. For example, uh, I'll say Linux uh, experts. Now Linux experts are really, really high in demand here in Germany because most of the servers, well, I work in pathological labs. I mean, I'm an auditor in labs and I see that in most of the labs, they use only Linux as base servers for running their lab information systems. So Linux administrators or Linux experts are really high in demand, but you again have to be a very core technical specialist. In case if you say you are good at Linux, then you are supposed to have hands-on experience on technologies like Kubernetes, uh, Docker, Ansible, Puppet, and, and, and. So if you are expert in such core technical fields, you can expect a very good career in Germany. Please check my previous video wherein I mentioned there are new laws which are coming up in Germany in the last year as well as in this year. Last year was Kritis Verordnung, on this time it is NIS 2. All these German uh, cybersecurity rules need a lot of technical specialists. So if you want to make career in Germany, please upskill yourself in any core technical field. Now the role of certifications. So friends, certifications are definitely helpful because they give you a kind of a badge that you are in a really an expert in some field. But again, what counts at the end of the day is your technical skills. If you have a bunch of certifications, but you don't have real hands-on experience on this technology, they probably won't help you much. I strongly recommend please go for vendor neutral certifications. Let's say if you want to work on firewalls, I would rather not recommend you to go for a very vendor specific certification like FortiGate, Palo Alto or something. Instead go for a network security certification which encompasses IDS, IPS, firewalls and and and. 
so this, this way you really broaden your uh, job career scope and you increase your uh, job career opportunities if you go for these vendor neutral certifications somebody recently asked me uh, if i were to pick one field in cyber security to make career in germany where should i focus upon so friends in my opinion as per my experience network security specialists are really high in demand here in germany especially ids and ips experts are very high in requirement here in germany and because last year uh, wow, and because last year uh, came another rule that is known as s set a that is system zur angriffs erkennung in english i can explain that it is a compulsory or mandatory um, solutions that a company should put in place to detect if there is any uh, attack in the network or if there is any intrusion in the system already present so this is known as sza and in simple words this aspect requires network specialist like ids ips and firewall specialist so friends i strongly recommend you if you were to think upon going for some specific field in cyber security ids ips and firewall management is the best way to start with please check this video friends wherein i showed you honeypot installation this is also a real uh, beneficial for everybody in case if you are applying for cyber security jobs in germany i strongly recommend please have a look at this video and try to make a running honeypot which you can show to the interviewers at the time of your um, interview such practical uh, projects clearly project your profile as a technical person who has a hands on experience and the interviewers are really inclined towards recruiting those people who really know the technology and who have already worked upon the technology kali linux is one of them it offers a hundreds of tools you really don't need to uh, expertise in so many tools but you should have an uh, hands on experience on some of these tools like nmap zenmap wireshark hydra these tools are like you should be using it quite often try to gain expertization on such specific kali linux tools endpoint security is one is also a very booming sector because nowadays most of the servers and most of the uh, endpoint uh, terminals require endpoint security uh, applications so you can consider going in for hands on experience on technologies like sentinel or maybe any other antivirus programs or any other endpoint security solutions which will give you a good push to your resume virtualization is always there in every company however it is not really easy for you to have hands on experience on virtualization unless and until you have subscribed to some let's say cloud service provider who offers you virtualization um, training however if you have a chance to um, have hands on experience on any virtual servers or any virtualization platform please go for it and and put them on your resume without fail now the next step of virtualization is containerization or kubernetes dockers please try to grasp some information on these uh, technologies also because they are pretty new and pretty advanced and most of the large scale applications they work on kubernetes or containerization so try to get some experience on these uh, technologies also when possible and they are also very helpful for your resume building the last point i would like to share is seem s i e m there are multiple vendors one of them is this crelog and the best part is most of these vendors like crelog or cyberarc or elastic also offer you a free trial cloud based platform so you really don't require any extra hardware for this you only need to subscribe to them of course free of cost for a limited period of time and you can have a hands on experience on such technologies i'll show you one of them and the one which i like the most is elastic s i e m and if you go to this uh, elastic website you can always find out an option to create an account and you can have a hands on experience on elastic seam solution other one as i mentioned is crelog seam so if you go to this website they also offer you uh, an option to try crelog for free This is a brilliant way to have hands-on experience on seam solution. The last but not the least is Splunk that you should definitely and definitely try. And if you go to this website, here also you will find some way to find free Splunk. See this. Here you find free Splunk. Wherein these guys will again offer you a free solution 
to try and see this is free for 14 days and it's a cloud based so you really don't require to install any software you really don't require any hardware for this all you need is an account and just go ahead so friends these were some tips from my side if you are planning to make career in cyber security in germany please follow these tips i'm sure that you'll very soon face success in your interviews in case if you have any doubts or any comments please feel free to post them on youtube comments I'll be more than happy to answer them. I wish you all the best. See you and bye-bye.